Well, there were 637 sales in November, and that marks the third month in a row in our marketplace where we've set a monthly sales record. Uh, year to date, we're uh, on pace for the second best year ever. First best year was 2017. Now, if you look at the average price in London for the month of November, it came in at 541,377. That's an increase of 29.9% over last November. Now considering year-to-date figures, the average price 488,911, and that's an increase of 19.1%. The year has gone on, prices have increased at a, a more rapid pace, and so we see the average price uh, coming in the last uh, three or four months, uh, making really, really big gains. Now part of the reason it's such a seller's market is the median days on the market and that stands at eight. So if you look back at 2015, that was uh, a figure of 25 days. So it's uh, really a very, very quick market here in London and uh, the sellers are enjoying the benefit of that. Looking at East London, we see the average price in November, 427,639. That's an increase of 27.4%. Now year to date, the average price, 386,000. 559, that's an increase of 20.4%. Going up to North London, we see the average price 619,908. That's an increase of 26.8% compared to last November. And looking at year to date figures, we see an average price of 567,477,000. That's an increase of 16.1%. The real star for November was South London and the average price 555,682. That's up a whopping 33.9% when you compare it to November of 2019. Year to date, we see the average figure is 500,038, and that's an increase of 21%. We figure about 20, 25% of the deals these days are from buyers uh, coming out of the GTA. London is still well positioned to see more increases. It just won't be as rapid as they are now. But in terms of how solid an investment London is, there's no doubt. Uh, we still are below many other markets. Uh, we have great healthcare, education, uh, great reputation for uh, bringing up a family here, very safe. Of course, it's a university and a college town. So we have lots of things to uh, uh, be happy about by living in London, Ontario. And a lot of people are realizing that and uh, many people are checking out London as a place to live. Now, the other thing with COVID, I think uh, obviously companies have discovered that their employees can work at home and they can be very productive. And so this is just gonna fuel the working at home trend that we've seen during COVID. And that can only help a, a market like London where uh, people can come and live here and get a great quality of life. If they have to go to the GTA once a week or once every couple of weeks, hey, no problem. But they can uh, continue and have a great career right here in London, Ontario. We are an absolutely great market and that's why we're seeing these results. Give me a call, I'll get you moving.